Okay, so you asked me that how not to ruin the strings <laughs> or how to make them last longer. Yeah, that's two things here I can tell you, or three, which will be very useful. And one is that pulling, I will post in the description of this video, you will find some links there. And one of the videos I will post is about this pulling the strings, which is a useful thing, but you have to be careful because that ruins the strings. For example, this. <laughs> Don't do it because why? It will, it will lessen the span of life of the string. So pulling is a good thing to do it with discretion and also not too much. And if possible, don't do it. Right? That's why we said that with the with the capo, when we are tuning with the capo on, then we may, for example, here I have so much flat the feet, the feet. So I will raise here, if this happens to me on the stage or something, and I have the fret, the, the, the capo on, I will just raise here a little bit, calculating, and then I will do this, and then you see, I, I, could, I could raise it. And, of course, here there's another thing, if this is not too much tight in the capo, when you do a rasgue or a powerful thing, then it may, it may move again the string and go out of tune. So, all these things are, have to be in the proper context. Right? When I said pull, I said it in one context, but ideally we don't do it. And in fact, I, I think I said it, that, that this pulling thing is just a trick to, to get the, the strings down there. But some people get the habit of always pull new strings or new bases and they pull all the time, pull all the time, pull all the time. And then, of course, they stretch the string in such a way that it will not tune anymore or will not last with brighter sound more time. Then I also post another video which was about how to clean the, the, the strings to say give a second life to the strings with a piece of cotton and alcohol and then do this cleaning thing. I will post also that. That's also good but that's that's good only when the string is wear off and when you don't have another string. And if you can replace then better replace but if not then do that. That's the context of that advice as well. As well. So Cleaning the strings, unless it's that way I show there. If you put chemicals, which there are all the companies that make a business with these chemical things to clean the strings, and I don't know if in electric it works well, probably, but for, for acoustic guitar, for the nylon string guitar, not at all. Don't put any chemical on the strings. This is never working, and people don't think they brought me, send me products, do this, and friends come and show me, many stories, look, they, they just, they just created this new problem and then they tried it. I know by experience that this is not good chemicals on the, on the strings or pulling it. Another thing is to, to put the string on and then take it off and then put it again or going back and forth lowering the key in which you have like to say for example this. Now if I want to play with the drop D Raise low, raise low, raise low, then this string will do. You also are killing the lifespan of the string. So that's another thing to not do. And another thing to not do is that when they say the strings are new, and then some people used to put half tone up instead of tuning the guitar on D or 40, right? When they are tuning, and instead of tuning on A, like before, instead of doing this. They are going half, uh, half tone up, so to, to, to be flat, and they say, I will leave it like this uh, the whole night, or even one tone, to, to go one tone up, so that they, because they know that the strings the next day will go down, and then they put it up so that it goes up. That also affects the string, because the string is designed with a certain tone, therefore, don't 
go over that tone, which is, for example, if the fifth string is designed to be on A, as these strings are, tuned on A, then I tune until here. Then I wait, if this is new string, I wait, I play a little bit, and then, then I will raise only up to that A. I don't go over the A. Never, because then you are, the string is being forcibly giving the other higher tone. And that is, is, is certainly, it will or affect the tuning of the string, or at least shorten its span of life. So those three or four things you have to have in mind if you want to not ruin the strings which by the way we buy a lot of strings and <laughs> this is one of the other parts I remember my family was said my god in childhood all these strings you have you owe me so much of your career just in the strings you can never pay me back because of all the strings I bought to I bought you. it's true this is three things this and that's why those tips are there because you, you may also clean them if this is just a study uh, you are, you are for studying or practicing, you are not playing live or anything. Of course, I don't say if you are not playing live, then get a garbage or string that doesn't even tune. And it sounds dull, no worry, go on. I don't say that. I say you have to sound ideally with, with fresh strings all the time. Which also, I will pause at the description of this video, the little bit about how often to replace the basses only. Because the trebles are not to be really changed if, not, if, if it's not necessary. Sometimes I do not third, second string for seven months, eight months, and it starts to sound great after that time, sounds better actually. So the basses only are the main concern and the main strings that were off, and even the sixth string you can use two times, fourth and, and, fourth and fifth string, and the sixth string leave it to the next set, and then next time then you can change it. So sixth string also lasts it's good for two sets of bases, probably. There is no need to change. If it turns well and sounds good, then why to change it? There is no need to change. That's why the trebles are not to be changed also often. Uh, yeah, and then, well, of course, raising the tone, that's not a good idea. It will not happen anything if it's a good guitar to the guitar itself, but it's also not good. Because some people put an extra high tension, say, and then one tone up. So you are constantly uh, applying more strength, pulling this weight of the strings more than what the guitar is designed to, to, to work with. So, all these things about the strings, I don't think, in fact, it's a good question, I don't think anyone said it, but it's true, that if you raise too much, say you put the strings at night, raise one tone and the next day are more or less, yeah, but they still will go down. And when you tune down, then the strings tends to go up, just the opposite. It's a duality that goes opposite way. When we raise the string, the string tends to, to go down the key. And when you lower it, it tends to go up. So you need to learn how to balance that without going above the note to which it's designed to be tuned to. So if this is B, then I tune up to B. I don't put it in C, I put it to B. Then I play, it will go down, say it's like this, and I go again, I will go to B, but to B only not go more up because then you overstretch it and also this changing constant strings or lowering the say if I just go down here like this if I do this and then I, I again go up if I do this ten times which I did the experiment or five it affects the string then also you are no tension tension no tension tension that's why I prefer to get the guitar always with the with this don't change the tuning also too much or or, or uh, lower all the strings to travel with that. I said also this in the in another in another video, in another tip. Don't do it because it's not necessary. And just like the like the backbone it's controls the, the whole body is straightened that because of the backbone, this thing here it also has a setting that is is it has to be it's designed to have the tension. And when you don't have the tension that's not good for the guitar yeah. and you're putting against tension again uh, tension and then no tension that's not good it has to be in one way that, that, that's the equilibrium of the guitar in fact so the strings similarly same thing 
So you just be careful also how you strong the strain on that. You could see at the description of the video we post the one about how uh, to strain to how you can make the, the notes and also how in the head can be accommodated either symmetrically or asymmetrically. Okay, thank you for your question. I see you next time.